Hi, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the 3D scanning spray. And thank you to AESAP for sending me the 3D scanning spray for review in this video. And for the price, this one costs 29, 25, and 23 US dollars. So it's quite uh, expensive. So most of the time, I prefer to use the developer spray. Uh, this one is SKDS2. Costs about 10 US dollar for a can, and it lasts a very, very long time. Uh, when you make a 3D scan of a deep pocket um, object with a lot of uh, concave, uh, it's a good idea to apply a scanning spray because the 3D scanner can see uh, deeper and capture much faster especially when you have a black and glossy finish so i have scanned this uh, pelican case before uh, about six months ago using the laptop x and i couldn't scan the corners of this pelican case so i need to apply the scanning spray so after that the laptop x can capture all the corner so the scanning spray does help me to capture the deep pocket and cave surface. Okay, let's try again with the Lapta X in a Kurati Scan 4. Okay, so in the preview uh, screen, I can see that the laser line is displayed quite well. Let's start the scan. Uh, I can see different. It can scan. It's a uh, very surprise. Only uh, difference made is uh, is a software. Uh, Creative Scan Three and uh, Creative Scan Four. Yeah, it can capture all the corners. Okay, next I'll try with the Laptop Pro and the Cloth Line. Yeah, I think it can scan from the preview screen. I can see that. Yeah, it can scan black color in the deep pocket. So you don't need scanning spray for the Laptop Pro as well. Just upgrade your software from Creality Scan 3 uh, to Creality Scan 4. Now, uh, this corner, I couldn't capture this in the previous version of the software. Now, black color can be captured much easier. Okay, let's try with the Samoon S1. Yeah, I think it can scan this. Ninety frames per second. Uh, Samoon S1 is the fastest. So it does not require a uh, scanning spray. Okay, let's try with the uh, level point uh, Metro X. So I'll use cross lines and black object. The best solution would be 0.3 and I will use automatic export draw. Some people say if I increase the scanning distance, I can get a better range. I can pick up a metric is different. It need more markers. Okay, let's try again. Ah, uh, that's better. Let's try this corner. See, so it cannot pick up uh, this side of the wall. Even though I add uh, more markers, uh, this side of the wall is not scanned. Okay, let's try if the scanning spray can save the scan. Okay, let's see if there is any improvement. I think it's scanned better with a spray uh, 
I can see more than four markers, but I don't understand why it's tracking its stutter. And there's some missing part here. Even though I use a spray, and the surface of the box is very rough. Um, the Karate scanner's laptops and the thermal is no longer uh, require the scanning spray, but it's helpful for the real point Metro X when uh, scanning with uh, uh, black objects. Okay, let's try to scan something a bit more challenge. Backside of the phone, which is made from the glass. Uh, first, I will try to scan with the Laptop Pro without using any spray, and then I will test with a different spray, hair spray, SKDS2, and AE sub, the blue color. So you can see that it's not detecting. Yeah, I can scan. <laughs> I thought it's not going to capture anything. Maybe I have a smudging from my hands. I don't think this will work. Okay, so we need a spray. So if your phone is water resistant, it's likely that any spray will work. But if you're afraid of uh, some uh, dust ingression, you can seal the USB port and the speaker. And the solvent that used here is um, alcohol, which is, um, it smells good. <laughs> it's the best smell scanning spray is the dry shampoo so you need to uh, wait the distribution of the powder is not good uh, unlike the SKDAS2 so it's um, you can't uh, distribute it evenly. Okay, this is a dry shampoo. You can see uh, that it has a lot of a uh, dense spot. Uh, it's not distributed evenly. Uh, it's quite thick because I try to uh, spread the spray all over the place so there's some part that has a thicker uh, powder than the less of the part all right so it's captured well but we need to check the end result after this okay all done okay here's my favorite scanning spray SKDS2 Usually it will give a very a thin and even distribution of the powder. So you, you need to wait for a while until the powder appear. You, you probably can't see this but there's a difference. It's much better than the hair spray. I mean the distribution and the application is quite easy. Okay, here's a result from the SKDS2, very well distributed powder and it's very easy to apply. Okay, it is up 4 hours, the blue color. Uh, the powder appear faster than the SKDS2. So after you spray, you immediately uh, get to see the powder. Unlike the SKDS2, you need to wait for the solvent to evaporate, but this one a is up, you get to see the powder 
and the distribution I think the SKDS2 is better I mean the the powder particles with the S2 it's um it's more fine fine powder okay here's the AE sub blue color four hours lighting and the powder particle is larger than the SKDS2 and the distribution is quite okay I think it already start to uh, evaporate so some of the corner here is not is not detect because the powder is evaporated okay this is AE sub blue color look it is almost gone just uh, a minute after you I finish the scan so it lasts less than uh, five minutes uh, for the room temperature about 27 degrees Celsius okay next uh, is up orange uh, 10 hours rating okay good distribution I think it's better than the blue one yeah the distribution of the powder is better than the blue color yeah this one is better a e sub orange and I found that the distribution of the powder is much better than the blue one. There is no dense spot anywhere and it's easier to apply than the blue one. Okay, looking good. And here with the A sub orange and the powder is still all there after I have finished the scan. Uh, so I recommend that you pick uh, the orange one, it's easier to apply and it gives a uh, better uh, distribution of the powder than the A sub blue color. Uh, you have more time to scan the part, not to worry about uh, refilling uh, the spray during the scan. Okay, next A e sub uh, diamond spray. Let's see how well it will distribute over the glass. Uh, it's red for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm not sure after I spray this, I will have enough time to run into uh, my room and make a 3D scan. Mm, it's, um, it has a, a thinner layer. Yeah, it's a very thin layer. It's different from the, the blue and the orange. The, the dust powder is smaller. Yeah, I can see that the dust particle is smaller. Yeah, it's different from the blue and the orange but this one is, is finer it has the finest dust okay this is a sub diamond spray it has a very fine dust it's already start to evaporate so I need to hurry this corner of the phone is already evaporate so I, I can see it start to go away uh, during the scan on the room temperature uh, 27 degrees Celsius uh, dry shampoo get the worst result uh, in this comparison 
It's a it's give a very uh, rough surface from the distribution of the powder. So I do not recommend anyone to use the uh, dry shampoo for uh, 3D scanning spray. Okay, let's move to the ASAP uh, blue. Uh, it give a much better result, a uh, smoother surface than the, than the dry shampoo. The drawback is that it evaporates quite quickly. So before I can finish the scan, uh, it starts to evaporate from the corner of the font. Okay, let's move to the next one. A is up orange. Uh, comparing with the orange and the blue, the orange is easier to apply. It gives a much better uh, distribution of the powder. But when comparing the result, uh, the orange one is a bit smoother than the blue one. So if you are uh, you need a 3D scanning spray that is uh, self evaporation, I recommend to use the AESAP orange instead of the blue one. You have more time uh, with your work, and it gives a better result when you apply the spray. The SKDS2, which is a uh, non evaporation uh, 3D scanning spray, you, uh, the object has to be uh, waterproof so that you can wash it after you make a 3D scan. And it gives the best result in this comparison. The surface from the SKDS2 is much smoother than the AESAP orange. It applies uh, easier as well. Uh, distribution of the powder is very very good. One of the best. Okay, let's move to the last one. Aesop uh, Diamond. Aesop Diamond give, um, it give a finer powder uh, comparing with the orange and the blue one. And it evaporates very very quickly. I don't find the use of this AESAP uh, diamond spray in any cases. Uh, it's evaporate too quickly. You can't uh, use this with the uh, 25 or 26 degrees Celsius uh, room temperature. I know what is that uh, this spray is using for. It's quite expensive and it gives you uh, no time to work with your scanning and it's um, the powder is probably too thin for the glass so the uh, laser scanner uh, penetrate the, the, the powder to the glass layer and it gave a very rough surface so in my conclusion the SKDS2 would be uh, the best 3D scanning spray and if you have to uh, scan the uh, non-waterproof object like uh, electronic components uh, you need to use the AESAP because there is no other uh, manufacturer that make this kind of spray and I recommend that you should be using the AESAP orange it gives the best uh, result and more time for you to work with your object and for the dry shampoo okay you should be avoid using this it will um, uh, deteriorate the quality of the scan okay i hope this would be helpful for some thanks to guy for watching i'll see you in the next video